Hey guys and girls, it's uh, Thursday the 6th of August 2020, it's about 3.55 and uh, we're just on our way to the Marateka because I don't know if you can see in the background there there's a huge plume of, uh, of smoke. Uh, it's quite far away from us but uh, there's a big old fire happening and also in that direction there's a plane, you can see a plane coming to land. So yeah, so we're going to make our way down to the dam and we're going to see if we can form some of these planes. at the dam. This big smoke in the background is all from this fire. This is our spot. And I don't know if on this camera you can make out but there's like a like a line in the water and uh, I think that line was made by the plane that just took off. So we should have a really good view here. I didn't record. I wasn't recording. I know, I know. I can't believe it. That was perfect. So, we have a giant spider. It probably doesn't look that big right now. This is on the bathroom mat. Um, so what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to get this pint glass and um, we're going to put the pint glass on top of him and capture him. So hopefully this happens nicely and uh, he doesn't cause us too many problems. What do you mean, no, get him? I just lost him. Oh, no. Okay. Right, so that was a roaring success. <laughs> so that wasn't supposed to happen. We were supposed to um, catch him in the glass and um, gently take him outside. Now, unfortunately, we're going to have to use the vacuum cleaner because he's gone behind this sort of sink piece here. I think I've got him. I'm not 100% sure. It's a bit sad. I was going to... Um, catch him in a glass and then slide some paper underneath and then take him outside for a walk and put him away somewhere else uh, Maybe in the shed or something, but Yeah, unfortunately, we've had to suck him up with a vacuum cleaner. I know some people might not like that, but that was a pretty big spider I mean his um, You know, he was almost like the, his legs were almost the diameter of a, of a pint glass, so I don't really want that living inside my house, you know but uh, yeah, normally I try and save them. I don't have anything against spiders, but I don't want that thing walking on my face while I'm trying to sleep tonight. So it's a beautiful evening, and uh, I don't know what the time is. It's about nine o'clock, and we've got some we've got some leftover sardines here, and um, we're going to take them and put them in our bottom field and see if we can get the wild pigs to pose nicely for the camera that you missed up in their hands. I don't know why I turned the camera off there, but I got like, what in South Africa we call these things devil thorns. They're like a little ball with all these like little spikes coming out. And uh, yeah, I got a whole bunch of them like right in my shoe and it just went straight through. Do you know, you're like a waitress for the pigs, like, yeah piggy piggy, dinner served. <laughs> wow, this corn's grown so big here, I can't believe it. Look at this. Hey, no water. I think we had what one day of rain and that was like it wasn't a day it was like half an hour yeah and that was like i don't know two three weeks ago maybe and now we've just got like well the corns as, as tall as as massac this is incredible footprints oh. yeah, footprints down there huge Pigs are coming through here. I don't think that's a watermelon. That's no, something else. That is something else. That's one of those um, poisonous plants. Yeah, a datura. Thanks to uh, to everyone who, who commented on our last video. 
Uh, I wasn't expecting to get such a response. Everyone was saying like, ah, that's the Datura plant. So thank you very much. We, um, we disposed of it and um, yeah, we stuck it in a bag so that it couldn't escape the bag and then put that into the trash, which we took down to like the village dump. So we've got a camera on this tree over here and Jean is down there with the other camera. And now we're gonna try and see if we can set up both of the cameras so that we can at least get two cameras looking at the pigs. Now what's the bet? We aren't gonna get pigs, but we're just gonna get a fox. I think we're just gonna get a fox coming and having a really good a really good meal. <laughs> but we'll see. It's worth a try. Okay, so it's Friday the 7th of August, 2020, 11.42, and um, we're gonna sort out the bees. The bees basically need some, um, well, they need some sugar water, uh, just to help them, give them a little bit more energy, because uh, we got our hive quite late on in the season. So I'm gonna mix up um, two liters of water with four kilograms of, um, of sugar and hopefully that's, um, oh wait, that's the wrong one. And then hopefully that's gonna help them out, you know? Just give them a little bit more strength. I'm just using plain, um, plain white sugar, and I believe I'm supposed to do two to one. So two bags to one, uh, or two kilograms to one liter. I don't know, maybe I got that wrong. I'm just working off memory here. Um, but I can't see it would be too much of a problem, you know. Uh, basically the bees just need a little bit of extra energy. Uh, we got our hive quite late. So we got five frames of bees in each hive. And um, you know, we got it quite late in the season when all the flowers were gone. Um, and so just to give them a little like extra energy boost, you know, we're, um, we're gonna give them some sugar water. And then that'll help them go out and, you know, um, you know, it'll give them the energy to basically get some more pollen and go exploring and, uh, and build their hive a little bit bigger in time for the winter. So I don't actually want to boil it. I just want to dissolve it. And because um, we don't want it that hot because we need to let it cool down before we pour it into the containers in the hive. So um, I think we're nearly good. At, well, we're nearly ready to go. Uh, I can see a little bit of sugar floating around, but uh, yeah. Yeah, that's quite thick syrupy water now. Okay, I think that's, that's good enough really. Uh, I can't feel any granules on the bottom of the pot. And um, yeah, it seems to have been mixed. It's very thick, it's almost like, I don't know, like cornstarch. It's very thick and gloopy. So hopefully I haven't put too much sugar in, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I guess that's a wrap. I'm just gonna let this cool off. And then hopefully it won't be too hot to go and put this in the beehive. What's going on here, Gina? I'm getting the sunflower seeds out of the sunflowers. Beautiful. I now have an appreciation of why sunflower seeds cost so much to buy in the shop. Yeah, imagine you have to deshell them now as well. So Nando's the rooster and I had a bit of a falling out session today. He, uh, he was chasing Mama Hen and her baby chickens around. So I decided to chase him around 
and he didn't like that very much. So he's keeping his distance from me. He knows who the top rooster in the farm is. Me. <laughs> dog dog. Are you a hot dog? Look like they're having a little mating session on here. There's a lot of seeds, huh? Yeah. Can't believe it. So I guess we just need to find a way of uh, um, drying these out, getting the shells off, and then we can use them for well, uh, well, for ourselves and for chicken feed. Um, there's a hell of a lot more than I expected. So Gina and I are going to go down to the beehives now and we're going to um, do some bee stuff. This is kind of our first um, solo attempt. Solo attempt. Now what we're doing is um, these little discs on the top. Oh, there's a lot of bees there. Oh, well, there's a okay. wasp nest. So there's a wasp nest in here that we have to get rid of. So we need to get rid of this wasp nest. Maybe pick it right away. There's actually quite a lot of water in there still. I feel like I need to get rid of that water to yeah, put the sugar right. water in. Yeah. Wow, I hear the noise. Mm. Oh, sorry bees. I didn't realise it would do that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We have some sugar. Some sugar water now that is on top and put this on so it doesn't evaporate. And then these guys are gonna have a nice little sugar boost. 